Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi coming to you from beautiful Atascacita, Texas with another homework helper. And today we're going to talk about Bohr's equation and energy levels. So get your calculator and let's get ready. I'm going to make a few assumptions. I'm going to assume that you know Planck's constant. I'm going to assume that you know the speed of light, that you know some algebra, and that you know right Rydberg's and Bohr's equations. And if you're not sure about any of this, be sure to go to my YouTube channel and check out videos on these subjects. Let's look at the problem. Calculate the energy for a hydrogen electron to move from n equals 3 to n equals 6. So what we're asking for is the energy of a hydrogen electron as it goes from the third energy level to the sixth energy level. And that tells me that we're going to have a photon that is absorbed. And we can calculate that by remembering that the energy of a photon is going to be the change in the two energy levels. Therefore, we can rewrite it as the final energy minus the initial energy. Now, I'm going to go over and grab Bohr's equation here. And some people may ask where I got that equation. That is just the uh, Ryberg equation combined with Planck's equations on energy. And we get the equation that Bohr used to figure out the energy levels of hydrogen. It's true that this equation only works for hydrogen or hydrogen-like uh, atoms. And when they get to the larger atoms, it's not as useful. But it does give us some idea of how Bohr came up with the idea of energy levels and eventually led to the quantum mechanical idea. I'm going to uh, remember that Z is the atomic number and that N is the energy level. And then we're going to substitute that into the uh, equation to the left. And then I'm going to go ahead and factor and we're going to get this new equation. Now let's go ahead and put in the atomic number of hydrogen, which is one. And then the energy levels, which would be from the sixth energy level and the third energy level. And then we can take and just simplify it and then plug and chug. And when we put that through our calculator, we get 1.82 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. And that's uh, the amount of energy to move that one electron from the third energy level to the sixth energy level. All right, it's just about that easy to do. Let's recap. You determined a photon was absorbed. You used Bohr's equation and you determined the energy of a photon. If you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at MrKazi.com and be sure to check out MrKazi.com or MrKazi'sWorld.com for videos and much, much more. And be sure to go and subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay up with the latest in Mr. Kazi lessons. Happy Ions, y'all.